Welcome to Castmasters and thank you for your purchase of our GG5000 stainless steel smelting furnace kit. It is very important that you have these safety items and tools that are not included with your GG5000 kit. You will need a standard propane tank for barbecue grills, preferably a long end lighter, a fire extinguisher, a pair of safety gloves, a protective face shield, an external thermometer rated for a minimum of 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, and an adjustable wrench. Inside the box you will receive a parts list, an instruction manual with a link on how to set up and use your furnace, a pair of 17 inch tongs for your crucible, one stainless steel melting chamber with KO wool insulation, an air handler pipe, a propane regulator, an open and closed valve, a rubber hose, a set of connection clamps, some plumber's tape, a fire brick, and a 5 kg crucible. It is best that you lay your parts out so that you can identify your parts then follow the steps for assembly. Please do not attempt to assemble or use your furnace without having all parts. Take your plumber's tape and seal the connection point on your air handler pipe and also on the one end of the hose that has a connection point. Attach your open and closed valve to your air handler pipe. You want to ensure that this connection is secure. You will then take the end of your rubber hose and slide a connection clamp through the hose. Then connect your rubber hose to the open closed valve. Push the rubber as far as you can, then tighten the connection clamp approximately one half inch from the edge of the rubber hose. On the other end of your rubber hose, slide the other connection clamp through. Then connect your rubber hose to your propane regulator. Push the rubber as far as you can, then tighten the connector clamp approximately one half inch from the edge of the rubber hose. Now take your stainless steel smelting chamber with KO wool insulation and locate the intake hole at the bottom portion of the chamber. You will find three screws that need to be loosened with your wrench. Loosen these screws to the point where you can insert the air handler pipe. Now, take your air handler pipe and insert into the intake hole of the chamber. Insert approximately two inches or until you see it is flush with where the pipe changes size. Secure your screw so that the pipe is snug. At the end of your air handler intake, you will see the butterfly screw and adjustable air intake coin. Unscrew your butterfly screw approximately one and a half inches. Now you want to attach your propane regulator to your propane tank. Use your adjustable wrench to secure this connection. You are now ready to test if there are any leaks at your connection points. You can use soapy water or a glass cleaner spray bottle. Check that the fire brick is at the bottom of your inner chamber. Make sure there isn't any KO wool obstructing the air slot inside at the bottom of your inner chamber. Make sure valve is in the closed position perpendicular to the rubber hose before turning on your propane tank into the open position. Make sure your air handler pipe coin is open. Make sure chamber lid is open all of the way. With your propane tank open, slowly open your valve until it is open all of the way. You will hear gas flowing through. With your safety gear on, use your lighter and place inside of the chamber. With the combination of your air intake coin and your propane regulator, you will be able to achieve optimal flame and temperature for your furnace. Your propane regulator should be between 0.1 and 0.2. Your air intake coin can be adjusted accordingly to your desired temperature. Please have an external thermometer readily available. Place your crucible inside the chamber and begin the process. Congratulations, you are now ready to smelt your precious metals. Happy smelting.